bees on a swarm. The desert, the lizard, sleep in the cold train, man. I told y'all as promised, we was gonna form like Voltron again. We're back. Guard your girl box, and let me give a clean introduction. That's Docs. Big Mike that likes knockouts. Cold Train, Sleep E, shout out to Nook, the dude with the black hat. Dude with the black hat. And despite what y'all may think, he's not prejudiced against Mexican fighters, but we'll get into that later. <laughs> That's what's a big Oscar. Yeah, they, they think he don't like Mexican fighters. You're probably gonna think that again. But anyway, shout out to Ron and Da. He couldn't be here with us tonight, but he's here in spirit as always. As Volley Boy and BJ Murray and the whole Garden Girl boxing family out there. Volley Boy get better. We riding with you, bro. Yo, yo, my temperature's on fire right now. Like, I get, like, anxiety when these big fights start to happen. Like, I, I can't wait till next Saturday. You know, I love big fights. I mean, I love Saturday. Next Saturday, Saturday, next Saturday, 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 Saturday. Man. We here, man. Floyd, money, money, money. Mayweather versus Saul, Canelo Alvarez. The big fight. We all thought this would be Floyd's farewell fight. But it's here. He got like four more fights on the table. He got four more fights yeah, on the table. Fights. Two down, four more to go. He's taking over Oscar schedule dates, the two biggest Mexican holidays. Well, that he's, taking, he's taking over what they call the Mexican turn up dates. The Mexican turn up dates. There you go. Yeah. That gotta be one word hashtag, by the way. That's how you gotta talk these days. Um, so we're gonna get right into it. But, 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 on the undercard, which might overshadow the actual event, we got Philly's own. Danny Swift Garcia versus Lucas. What's Lucas's Matisse. Matisse or Matisse? Matisse. Matisse. The Boogie Man. Matisse. The Boogie Man. <laughs> so we got a lot to get into. So we're gonna chop. We're gonna get right into it. First and foremost, we gotta get into this fight that we just, what I just mentioned. This Junior Welterweight Showdown, which could potentially be a dress rehearsal for the winner of the Canelo and Floyd fight, which I personally think. So rapid fire. Who wanna go first and jump this thing off, man? Let me set it off. Set it off. Set the black hat. Go oh, set it off. Set it it's, funny. Funny. it's funny I'm setting it off, but I'm kind of conflicted with this fight because, I mean, prior to the Zab fight, why are these things in your hand? <laughs> I've been training. I've been training. I've been training like 24 7, or I don't even know the name of the Showtime. I'm gonna shout out to Ray Diamond. Oh, I've been telling you. I've been telling you on Showtime. Oh, yeah. He said it. Yeah, Ray I told Diamond. y'all yeah. back in the day, shout out Nurse Jackie with yeah. Weeds. That was yeah. the only programming. Now Showtime is overshadowed HBO. But I'm, I'm gonna bring it back to the fight. Like I said, prior to the Zad fight, you know, I was like, Danny reminded me. I didn't compare him to Bernard, in fact, to the styles. So I was like, this is a guy that's not going to go anywhere. He's going to keep winning. When I saw the Zad fight, he, didn't, he looked poorly conditioned. He looked very, very sloppy. And uh, we keep it 100. You know, we right outside of Philly. Danny was on the show, you know, so he's kind of like part of the brass or whatever. But like, in the Zad fight, I saw a lot of flaws, like even the way he holds his hands. Like the fact that he, he looked kind of sloppy and, and shout out to Zab for looking the best Zab looking years even though Danny beat him and dealing with Matisse or Matisse, you know, either one. I, I got some questions about how so who you picking? This is tough, man. Um I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna have to go against I'm gonna have to go against Danny on this as much as I don't want to. It's just the fact that he he defensively he gets hit. And this guy, like, he got bricks in his hands. And it's like, but the thing is, yeah, people, the, the no fact is, dude got power in both hands. True. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, yes. as far as boxing is concerned, he's a poor boxer. He's a horrible boxer. You yeah. Call him Matisse. Yeah, Matisse. Mm -hmm. but the thing is, and, and we made a lot, a lot is made about Danny as, as a boxer. Is he a boxer? Is he a puncher? Is he a puncher? Is he a boxer? Mm -hmm. right. 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 I think he's an underrated boxer. And I think people go, but really? Right. I do, I do. I think, 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 think Sleep is, I think he's making a fatal mistake of looking at this. I just think Styles is McFly, but I'm going to let y'all get into it. Before, before, so before I give up my verse, I'm just going to say, and it, Peterson, <laughs> who I had a lot, of comp, a lot of confidence in, he just walked Peterson down, and Peterson, Peterson allowed himself to get touched. And at that particular time, I thought Peterson was a better fighter than Garcia. And then, and then Khan. And then Khan, he traded with Khan to knock Khan out. So he gets hit, and that's what I'm really worried about. And his defense has looked a lot worse than it looked in the past. 
So I'm going with Matisse, and this I'm going to say Matisse say uh, Matisse is a you well. Know, I'm gonna have to ride with Matisse. I'm gonna have to ride with Matisse. Let's get it back then. Okay, stage. The thing about it is, this fight is made for exchanges. This fight is gonna be for the middle of the ring. It's not gonna be anything where Danny's gonna be swift or in, in, in box dude and use the jab. No, this guy's gonna be there for, he's gonna be a nightmare for Danny for 12 rounds. This is gonna be a 12 round hard fought, maybe even a split decision fight in favor of Danny. But dude is gonna be there, he's the boogeyman, he can punch with both hands, he's got power, but he can't, he can't box. You know, he's one of those, um, and not to be racist, he's one of those South American <laughs> fighters that, That's not really you know, low. Right. If, he doesn't, if he doesn't get, his way in the ring, he throws his hands up, beats his chest. If Danny's smart and he fights a, a, a measured fight, uses that jab and, and tries to move his feet, he's gonna last 12 rounds because this dude doesn't have enough to actually cut the ring off. And, and so that's your pick? That's my pick. I, I got Danny winning by decision. All right. But you, you said they're gonna be in the middle of the ring exchanging. But he's going to be, they're going to be exchanged, but Danny's going to move out of the way. I don't think they're going to, I don't think Danny's going to fight him like that. You know, I got, I got. But what I'm saying is this fight is made for them to be in the middle of the ring exchanging. Right. Danny got to be smart. No, got to, yeah. He got to be smart. Right. No, 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 no. So, I think the same thing. I said, I, uh, back on what Doc's saying, I think Danny got to fight smart. I think he uses his jab. He might be able to get through 12 rounds. Um, but I think he gets dropped at least once. <laughs> at least once. Yeah. I think he wants some drama. I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be back and forth. But I think Danny has got to use his boxing skill mm -hmm. to really do How's his chin? How's Danny's chin? We don't know. We don't yeah, that's the same. Like, like Zan, and that's what I'm going to tell you. He's been in there with, with Khan. Well, I can hit. He's been in there with Khan, yeah, but, but we didn't really get a, a good sample size with Khan. Zan was able to put his hands on him. Um, one thing I just want to say real quick so for the sake of time. I just want to say Danny is a big junior welterweight. We'll all agree that, right? Yeah. People want to see that in this fight. I think he's bigger than the T-Sack. I really think he's really a welterweight, fighting a junior welterweight. That, all that That's the reason Broner skipped that whole division. No doubt about it. Yeah. Um, he's very underrated as a boxer. One thing that Danny has that I don't think Matisse has, like Doc said, he's very underrated boxer because he has very good timing with his punches. Yeah. So he's going to be able to punch when Matisse punch and catch him. The key in this fight, though, is Danny's chin. If Danny's able to eat, some of Matisse, a uh, powerful couple of overhand, rice overhand, less or however you put them on there. If he's able to eat them, I got Danny winning this fight. Potentially by knockout, like you said, some of those South American fighters, they can be taken down. The book can be taken down. We so saw Michael Smith this, 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 this is not your dad's, uh, what's Forrest, Forrest, uh, Vernon Forrest kryptonite. Right. I mean, this is not your dad's but you're over here. No. So, saying, this dude is a little different. No doubt. And that's a very good point. I'm going with uh, Danny Garcia. So I, think, I think Danny, 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 Danny and Matisse. Now, this is the one thing I want to I wanna <laughs> ask you guys. Oh, good. I like to be Now, I agree with everything y'all saying, but what about the rumblings and just the fact that where Danny is prior to his previous two fights as far as his accolades and stuff and off the ring. You him. mean off the ring, yeah. Yeah. Some of the rumblings. What I saw in this yeah. ad fight was not, like was not the Danny that I was used no, to seeing, which is the reason why I'm picking Matisse say <laughs> is because of what I saw in his ad fight. So what do you guys think of that? I mean, he, that's he got his condition. His condition was long. His condition was shady. That wasn't too long ago. No, you know, you know, you know, the turnaround is long. You know, what he says camp as well. I mean, you know what I mean. No, I think, I think, I think his question is what he I, had. He's saying because it was some, you know, yeah. his focus was. He's not disciplined. Right, it's some understand. discipline. You know what I'm saying it could go both on both sides. Well, that's true. You know but this dude, I will say this about Matisse. He's looking to prove something. He want to prove that he belong. But you are, like we always say, you are who you are, player. If you can't box, you're not going to become a box. I just, I always go with the better box. And Danny has no doubts because, you know, he's, he's never lost, so he's very confident. Right, he's confident. You know I mean? And Zed, let's get, he showed up. Styles make fights. Yeah. Moving right along. Moment. You set the table. You set the table, Alex. I'm too excited. <laughs> you too excited? I'm too excited. What are y'all, first of all, what are y'all excited about? I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. All the time. Y'all say the same thing every time money wins. Like, every time money wins. Okay, like, here, here it is. It's, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, here it is, here it is. You're, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you're going to argue and say, well, I you know so what, this dude, it's another guy that they, they, they dug out and threw in front of Floyd. But let's be real. We've had, we haven't had a live dog in many years that can actually go in the ring and fight Floyd Mayweather and everybody feels like he may actually be better than... Yeah, it's just Floyd Mayweather. 
that's the perception. That's what I was saying. That's the perception. You, you, you're so, speaking yeah. of the hype of the look, perception. Think about it. He's, he's in his prime. Right. He's young. Right. He's bigger. Right. Stronger. Right. So to me, that's always been the ingredients. People always say you need to be Floyd. Somebody bigger, stronger, and younger. Well, they're right. a lawyer, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Even though he's right. 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 But all this respect. Hold on, hold on. But all this respect. The Trout fight, right? I asked all right. He, he was drained, uh, right? Yeah. He seemed confused at some time. He tied his tie. He seemed to drain a tire. Oh, okay. His stamina. His stamina, right? Right. right? And right. then he has to come down another two pounds. Uh -oh. So those are the things that you put into the mix of this equation. And then you put it on the I blame, um, First take. I remember when the fight was being talked about, Stephen A. Smith. Guys that you know could, that people don't know nothing about boxing. They don't boxing. know nothing about boxing. They were on the show talking about, oh man, I'm afraid he's a big boy and Floyd, and, you know, this is gonna be a real tough fight for Floyd, and he, right. everybody really bought it. They felt like Canelo was gonna fight that camera. if he ever he fights Floyd, Floyd he if he ever fights Floyd, Floyd's gonna gonna probably lose. But I never felt that way. You know what okay. I'm saying? We all always, you know, he, he's crazy, he's psycho. Right, right. Nobody in their right mind rides a horse without a mount. I mean, right. you know what I'm saying? So, I don't really feel like this fight is the hype. You really have a problem with him riding that yeah, horse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay. We're not even going to get into some horse fights. We had a very good analogy. Do you mind sharing with the public who you compared them to? I see you, 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 you made a good no, I was a, a fighter. That was you actually song. started to play Griffin. I said, then. I did. I Here's said, play Griffin before you anybody had in terms of. You said, yeah, he he's is. a Mexican country. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, nah. he's kind of. It's, nah, yeah. he's not like Jermaine Taylor, man. Well, he's not that he's Jermaine Taylor. He fights I understand Taylor. what you mean. I understand what you I mean. I mean, I think the, th the thing about uh, Canelo is that he's one of those fighters. That you don't even have to tell them who he's fighting. Just tell them, hey, you fighting at another PM. He's coming down. He be there, be there for the walk through an hour early, and he will be there. I will he, say, he be fighting the cliche. He won't even ask any questions. I will say this: it don't seem like he has no idea. No care in the world. It's like no emotion. That might be no word. In fact, that day, you know what? That could play well in his hand. He has no. His his temperament stays the same. All right, so let's get into the fight. Let's uh, get into the. Big Mike said we saw the same prediction. It's the same thing. Because it's, it's the same, same story. You go back for the last five, what, seven years? <laughs> We're doing this. So it's, it's like people following the Rolling Stones. It's like people following the Rolling Stones. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But let's talk about the resume. What resume? No, and Floyd's resume. Where do we get like a Canelo we can match up with a with, with Floyd man with a fight in the past? I think Canelo would be. Other than so, Jay Mike Williams. A Kodo, he just for Kodo. A, a good bomb. Me, somebody else. Kodo already got trashed. Kodo already got trashed by Manny. Kodo uh, is not as good as Kodo. He's he not, he's not. Oh, 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 oh. Marguerite beat the marbles out of his head. You got an undefeated <laughs> fighter. I mean, where, where you want to go? I mean, oh, who do you match right. that with right now? So, the, 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 so the argument exactly that this is probably the most untainted fighter Floyd has had in front of him. You think it's going to be an untainted fighter? I think it's going to be an untainted fighter. That's why the hype is so this Who did Canelo beat? That's my issue with this whole thing. Like, we were told. First of all, Trout's not a walk in the park. No, Trout was good. That was, I, I, I thought that was a great dress for my and, and then, I thought that was a good. probably regretted Trout. And I was two rounds into the fight. To me, I thought Trout won the fight, but that's neither here nor there. They regretted making that fight. No doubt, but they kind of had it to see what. You know how you got you to try it out to see what you got before right. you take it there to that next level. I'm going to say this. Enjoy it while it's here. That's all I got. You had Michael Jordan, you had Kobe. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is one of the greatest boxers of all time. But the one of the most hard up. Yeah. I don't care. Like, yeah. The fact we gotta start thinking about yeah. who didn't he fight? Now, who was talking about this? He didn't fight Manny. He didn't? And that's even real. He didn't fight Mark Friedel. No, I know. He didn't fight Mark Friedel. No, he I turned out Mark Friedel fight. Hold on, oh, no. let's understand this. Hold on, hold on. Let's understand this, though. God, like, God. When, you look at, when you look at the whole things when it was building, right? Yeah. Nobody was fighting Margarito at that time. Nobody was oh, fighting him. When it was Paul, Paul, Paul Wayne. Wayne. The same Wayne. thing. Nobody fought Paul. Like people eventually fought Margarito when he weared down a little bit, but those are the only people you can name. Manny and Margarito that's kinda he fought everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta say Bradley. That's a couple of choices. No, but Bradley was right. 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 I mean, we got you, and you're a businessman, Mike. You gotta think about. See, that's the problem with this. 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 You act like you don't understand business 
when it comes to this. Can I say something? No. Yeah. He didn't fight Kazuzu. Well, nobody did. We talked about that yesterday. Because even right. Shane went past 140. Nobody, nobody think that pits out there in 140. Yeah, yeah. I think after he knocked Zab yeah, out. The thing that, all right, okay, Floyd. Let's be real. He is one of the greatest fighters. We've oh seen. God! Yeah, a lot of you still, have, you still have to. There's you, a, you gotta give him his lunch. Right. Everybody has to. Every fighter, he fought, he fought fighters at the optimal right time. You know what I'm saying? He didn't fight fighters when it was still like that, that gray area where it was like, well, it, he might have a chance to beat him. We knew he was gonna trash Ricky. We knew he was gonna be Oscar. We knew. We knew. Yo, man. Shit, man. And that's the whole point. I'm trying to make it. That's the point. We, we knew that's where the world thought Ricky was going to beat him. Nah, nah, nah. nah, 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 nah so that so like 90,000 hits. Nah, 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 shameless plug here. By the way, check that video out. That was one of our good videos. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The problem I have with Floyd mm -hmm. is not that. I think This is what I love about this show. So much I think objective. Floyd is probably one of the best fighters around. Probably in, in recent memory. But his career has been built on smoke and mirrors. <laughs> and that's the issue I had before. I think this is the first fight, legitimate Don't fight. Don't believe it. Other than, hold on, hold on. So oh, after this fight, we, other, we can stop that. This so, so you say, I'm saying, hold on, hold on. Uh, no, after this fight, if he beat Saul convincingly, like he beat Guerrero, cinnamon. and like he beat uh, Marquez, and like he beat the other ones where it was more five sparring matches. I give it some legitimacy. All right, all right, all right. For the sake of time, all right. For the sake of time, let's talk about the elephant in the room, and then let's get into the fight. What would that be? What that the the elephant in the room. room. <laughs> it's like it's like fifty of them. It's like Zimbabwe. <laughs> it's like the Serengeti. Right, which which yeah. one? <laughs> we talk about the catch weight. Oh man, that's that's. All right, the, let me just stuff. say this real quick, and you can go back and check the records. Some of the people, and I won't name names. Some of the people on guard Jamal Bosley had problems with catch weight. Me personally, I never, my man didn't get it. I didn't have an issue with it. I didn't have no issue with it. My only issue was after the Cotto fight, Floyd said he don't fight catchweights and he don't drain fighters. He did say that. And nobody asked him. He just brought it up. Well, the thing about Bob, and I know he was, no, 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 I know no, he was saying, taking the shot. Said it no, I understand that. But everybody like, like, contradicts himself. I don't need that now. You gotta go back yeah, to the top of This, all, this, this is, is all, a red line. This is all top rank Floyd from day one. We right, always right. used to do that. You know what right. I'm saying? I've always been against catchweights. Right. The thing about catchweights is, that's the reason why the divisions were made. No, right, yeah. right. Price fight, the original right. eight divisions was based right. on the weight. You, know, you, you got junior middleweight. You, middle you, you got junior middle walks. Yeah, 14, 15 pound of That's how they made super middleweight, oh. junior middleweight. Right. So, you know, I'm gonna tell you where this all sparked off. When Oscar was hot, when Oscar was hot, he to everybody he from heavyweight yeah. down would say, I'll fight Oscar, I'll come down and fight him because they wanted that money. They wanted yeah. money. If you see Floyd Mayweather in person, he looks like a little boy. Yeah. He's a small kid. We saw Cotto in person, even though Cotto yeah. was short, he was very yeah. wide. Yeah. Floyd is a little dude. But he ain't okay. Let's talk more about what he was saying. It's yeah. semantics. Yeah. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> Shane is looks so, up. So it's like, it's like if Big Mike was a boxer, he was campaigning at 75, and he won that big prime time 41, he was like, yo, I can come down to 160 and meet you because he wants to make the fight. Right. Elder so, whether it's true or not. It's 160. But it's now 150. Elder I don't know if it's true or not, but he said, he said, he said, he said Canelo's can't take a seen. fight at a catch weight. I mean, but, but, but the, the, there's two sides of the association. I don't know. We all know who we Who ran the show in the morning. You're talking about it. Floyd in there and we demand my weight. You talking about a deal? Come on. I had a, I know. I said, but he had a big 54. He struggled. Come on. And I'm with you, Floyd. He's a good businessman. Yeah. Listen, people. He's calculating. Listen, he's calculating. Today, today I had to sign an agreement for my daughter to leave the campus. I had to sign it. There's two sides of negotiation. That's what it comes. 